Math 2414, Partial Fractions, Video 5, Example of Unique Linear Factors. In the previous video, we found the partial, fra de partial fraction decomposition, the integrand of this integral. In this video, we're going to use those results to integrate this rational function. Although I'm not going to repeat all the steps from the previous video, I'm going to kind of summarize what the general plan of attack was. First, notice that this fraction does meet the degree requirement. The degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. To integrate using partial fractions, your first move, once the degree requirement is met, is to factor the denominator as completely as possible. Not going to revisit how it got factored, but it factored into x times 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 dx. Then you implement the partial fraction decomposition. And again, I'm not going to revisit all of that, but it was 1 half times 1 over x plus 1 fifth times 1 over 2x minus 1 minus 1 tenth times um, 1 over x plus 2. Again, for the details, please see the previous video. Once you've decomposed your rational function into a sum of partial fractions, it might be really easy to finish. Now, it might be hard to see because of all the things that are crammed in here. So I'm going to do two things. Number one, I'm going to split the integral into three integrals of each, one of each term. Uh, when I say one of each term, I mean this term, this term, and this term. Integrals are additive like that. And secondly, I'm going to pull out the constant multiples in front of those three integrals. And so the net result will look something like this. One half integral one over x dx plus one fifth integral one over two x minus one x minus one tenth integral one over x plus two dx. And now the three integrals that I'm looking at, this one, this one, and this one are very straightforward. The first one is just an integration rule. The other ones are u substitutions. Let's knock out the first one because it's easy. One half, the integral of one over x is the natural one of the absolute value of x, so that was pretty easy. For the second integral, I'm gonna take it to the side just for a second. It is a u substitution with u equal to 2x minus 1 and du equal to 2 dx. And when, you're, when the derivative of your substitution is a constant, you can't integrate instantly by just implementing the correct rule, which is still going to be natural log. But to balance the du package, you multiply that answer by the reciprocal of the derivative, which in this case would be 1 half. Now, if that's still too much for you to swallow, then don't. Do the integration by, uh, excuse me, do the substitution moves as necessary. Put a 2 in front of the dx. Balance it with the 1 half. Make your substitutions. The 2x minus 1 becomes a u. The 2x collectively becomes the du. Integrate the new integral. Undo the substitution. But your life in Calculus 2 will be much easier if you can spot this and then play it out quickly by saying, all right, I know what my substitution is going to be. Its derivative is a constant. So I'll just do the regular rule, and I'll balance it with the reciprocal of that constant. So regardless of how you do the uh, integration here, you're going to get 1 fifth times 1 half. So this 1 fifth which came from the partial fraction decomposition. And this one half, which came from balancing the substitution together is gonna to give me one tenth. And then the natural log of the absolute value of two X minus one. Then minus one tenth, we could do a U substitution on the next one, but this is also something worth mentioning. If your substitution leads to DU equal DX, don't even bother doing the substitution. There's never a balance to do. Is change du to dx into your integration rule. The integration rule here is still natural log, so we get natural log absolute value of x plus 2, and then finally 1 plus c for the whole thing. 
So not super difficult to do once you, this one, once you get it decomposed into partial fractions. I would argue that these integrals are harder to set up than to do. Well, sometimes they're harder to set up than to do. We'll see what I mean when we get to the other cases.